Mr. CJ and I'm going to be your heart doctor today. Um, you booked an appointment to get a heart checkup. Is there any reason? Okay, so you've seen the heart campaign on TV and you just wanted to get a checkup done. Yeah. That's great because a lot of people, um, they don't get checkups because they think they're fine, but usually the problem starts before you get symptoms, so it is really great that you're doing this so we can see if your heart is fine before um, any symptoms occur or peace of mind for you if your checkup is clear. So, I'm just going to ask you a few questions, if that's okay. Okay. Um, so, um, have you had any stomach issues? No? Just the usual too much eating or bloating, okay. Do you get indigestion? Okay. Do you get any chest pains or chest pressure? Nope, okay. That sounds good. Anything look out of the normal? Okay. Alright. And that's all I had to ask. So, we are going to start with a pulse check. I'm just going to check your pulse in different places and see if there is a steady, strong, non-irregular beat. So, we will know that everything is normal. Okay? Alright. So, first, I am going to check your temples and see if I can pick up a good beat there. Do you mind if I get close to you? No? Okay, so, just going to check the pulse on your temples. Sounds good. Seems pretty normal. Okay, now I'm going to check your throat right here. Let me know if I'm pressing too hard or you feel any discomfort. jacket on so if you could take that off so I can hear your heartbeat or just roll up your sleeves and open your jacket okay Okay, so I'm just going to check the underarms first, 
if you can hold them out like this. Yeah, it tickles, don't it? It's a ticklish pop. Okay, and now can you put your hands out for me so I can get your wrist, all right? Great. Everything sounds really good so far. So now I'm just going to do your knees and then your feet and then that will be it for the pulse check. Okay? Just going to get your feet and do a check on them. Okay, great. So, next, I'm just going to get you to sit down on the table. You can sit down right there. And I'm just going to put on some gloves for the next procedure. As I forgot to do that for the first one. some physical checks. I am going to check your mouth, your nails, to see if there's any discoloration, if the enamel is different, if it's bending, because sometimes that can point to heart disease, diabetes, and a bunch of other problems. And I'm also going to check your stomach to see if I can feel anything that doesn't feel normal. And that will be it for the physical check. Okay? Alright. So, if you could just say, ah, and I can check the inside of your mouth. Okay. Sometimes, um, if we have problems with our teeth, like gum disease, periodontis, um, any decay or anything, um, it can
can cause us to have heart problems from that. It is not scientifically proven, but there are a lot of cases that are linked to people with gum diseases and stuff that are more prone to get strokes and heart disease. So, your mouth looks really good. You keep up on everything. you can hold out your hands. I'm just going to check your nails. We are looking for something called clubbing, which is a bit of discoloration, but it's mostly a different looking enamel and it points downward. This is usually linked to heart disease, but your nails look really good. Um, now, if I could ask you to remove your socks so I could look at your toes, please. Okay. Okay, you have a bit of discoloration um, in your toenails and they're a little bit thick. This can be a cause of diabetes, um, but you can get checkups and tests for that. Um, I wouldn't worry about it because a lot of discoloration can happen from using um, toe products, creams, nail polishes, or anything like that. Okay? So, now I'm just going to check your stomach. Is it okay if I lift up your shirt a little bit? Okay, I don't want to be in your personal space and make you feel uncomfortable. Alright. Just going to feel around your stomach area to see if I can feel anything that doesn't feel right. And you said you usually don't get any abdominal pain, indigestion, gas, bloating. Okay, you get bloating, usually from bad food, okay. That's pretty normal also be irritable bowel syndrome if you get cramping and you have to use the washroom a lot. Okay, everything seems good. So far, so good. So now I'm just going to check over your pulses again. Um, this time with a stethoscope so I can hear, okay? Testing to see if it works. Okay, so I'm just going to check your temples and all the other places I checked earlier. So, let me know if this feels a little. 
so cold. Okay, that sounds good. I'm just going to check your neck. Okay, perfect. Now if you could stretch out your arms so I can get your underarms again. Okay. Thank you. Alright, just going to check your wrists now. Sounds good. Everything so far has been really well. Really good. I'm just going to check your chest right here. And breathe in and out. So now I'm just going to get your knee and your foot. Can you stick out your leg for me? Good. And now your foot. Perfect, so all of your checks came out really good. Your heartbeat seems normal. It doesn't seem like it skips a beat. It just seems like the normal rhythm. So that's excellent. Okay. So when we do these checkups, we want to make sure that we know that your heart is in good condition and you are cleared so I'm going to send you over to get an MRI scan done and then we will see the full picture of your heart to make sure everything inside is good and if there is anything wrong we can get you it before anything bad happens or before you get any symptoms, okay? Alright, yeah. So, you can go to the next room over and get changed and I will meet you over in 
the MRI scan room, okay? Okay, perfect. Hi. Did the hospital gown fit you good? Okay. You shouldn't have to wear it for too long. There may be a draft. <laughs> they always feel really drafty. Okay. So, this is our MRI room. This is where um, we do our MRI scans. And MRI scan is like a tunnel that you go into. It makes a strange noise and then it scans your whole body. But we are just gonna focus on your heart for today. Okay? Um, it's not too scary uh, unless you're claustrophobic. We can give you something to relax. Yeah, you have anxiety? Well, let me know if there's any issues because I know the noise can be alarming and being in a tunnel can be kind of stuffy and claustrophobic inside of there. So let me know if you have any issues. I'm here if you have any issues. So just let me know, okay? Alright, so if I can get you to step up into the MRI table, I'm just going to get you to lie down flat and with your head pointing up to the ceiling and then we will scan your whole body. I'm going to help you up and then I'm going to be in the little glass room here behind the scenes, <laughs> scanning and seeing what comes up on the computer. So just talk to the speaker if you need me, okay? Alright, so step up into the machine if you're ready and we will get started with your test, okay? Perfect. Hey, how are you? Are you doing good? How do you feel? You're feeling fine? Okay. I'm just speaking to you through the speaker on the left side of you. If you have any concerns, just speak to me and I will hear you. Okay? So, I'm going to start the machine and it's going to take a few pictures and we'll be ready to go in a jiffy. <laughs> Alright? Perfect. the machine and it might make some weird noises. Okay, you're all done. You did a great job. We got a lot of pictures, so you're ready to go. Um, you can get changed and I'll meet you back in the examination room and we should get the test back within an hour or so. So if you want to go to the cafeteria 
and get something to eat in the meantime you can and I'll meet you back there and go over your results okay all right see you there you made it back you didn't get lost perfect okay so here I have your results and we're just going to go over it with you nothing to be nervous about okay Results while you were getting changed again and the picture of your heart looks really healthy all your vessels and arteries look really clear like I don't see any blockages or anything like that there seems to be no masses inside of the heart, so you don't have to worry about any tumors or anything. So overall, you seem like your heart is really healthy. But if you ever do experience any chest pains or stomach problems, um, definitely make another appointment with us. And we will go over the same procedure. Okay? Alright. So, we are done here. So, I'm going to let you go. And thanks for dropping by. See ya.